Okay, so so if um, openers lower range, any of their responses are going to allow us to stop in three hearts or four diamonds. That's what I was trying to say. So the upper range responses will still allow us to stop in four diamonds but if you want to play in hearts um, you will have to play at game level so if you use that range distribution inquiry you should be prepared to play at at least the four level if uh, opener is upper range no matter what their distribution So, there's no epsilons here. Um, you get the opportunity to use beta, but then you're just going to have to set the contract because you pretty much know uh, or should be able to work out You know what uh, opener's distribution is, and you should be able to work out roughly uh, what they have in terms of honours. Now, see, I didn't type that. Very strange. Nice place, Barano, though, but I didn't type it. I didn't type that either. So, if you want to play in three diamonds over a two heart opener. You've got to go via Levensol. Right, guys, just give me five minutes. I'm going to reboot. Okay, there's something weird going on here. Um, stick around. I'll be back. There was something very, very strange going on. Um... Right, where were we? Okay, so like I said, was saying before, if you want to play in three diamonds, if you just simply want to give a preference to diamonds over a two heart opener, you've got to go via eleven soul. If you want to play in two hearts, it's fine, you can just pass. Um, but if you want to play in something anything at the three level then you pretty much have to go via 11 sol because uh, 
the immediate bids of um, three diamonds and three spades particularly uh, are not what you think but you can invite in hearts and you can invite in diamonds this way or you can just go via the um, the two spade forcing relay So if you're worried about Trump's solidity, the uh, the two no Trump Levin Soul invitational sequences are the way to go. If you're more worried about where Opener may have their shortage, then uh, the two spade forcing relay is the way to go. Any questions so far? So if you want to play in clubs or diamonds, you can't just bid three clubs or three diamonds because they're both asking bids and you're now locked into an asking bid sequence. But as I've said there, just bear in mind that uh, if you bid three diamonds, uh, gamma and diamonds, and get a three spade response or a three heart response for that matter then three no trumps is is strictly to play rather than being relay beta so four clubs would be beta over either of them because it's a minor So these are just preemptive, basically. If you want to invite, you need to go via Levensol or the two spade forcing relay. So the main thing to remember is that if, if ops interfere, no, if you, if you bid two spades over two hearts, which is the forcing inquiry, you would use that if you want to invite based on where you're more concerned about openers exact distribution, i.e. where they've got their main shortage. If you're worried about suit quality, then invite via Levensol. 
you know, you, if you've got, for example, uh, openers showing 10 cards in the red suits, if you've got ace, ace, king in the black suits, um, but you're worried about, uh, you know, the quality of openers diamonds, for the sake of example, then you might invite via Lebensol there because you're not remotely concerned where they've got their shortage because your ace ace king in the black suits is going to take care of any black suit losers that she might have or that they they might have if you're concerned about uh, the quality of um, openers diamonds or openers hearts for that matter um, then invite via Lebensol if, on the other hand, you've got three small cards in one black suit and a shortage in the other, now your concern's primarily about where their shortage is. If they've got a void opposite your three-card suit, this hand's going to play really well. But if they've got three small opposite your three small, then it's clearly not going to play so well. So now you might use the two-spade forcing inquiry to find out where their shortage is and how good the shortage is. Okay? Do you see what I mean, Charlene? Okay. Right, any questions about the two-heart opener? Um, I'm sorry it's been interrupted by my having to reboot. But uh, essentially... The two spade forcing relay finds out firstly whether opener is lower or upper range, where they have their, their best shortage and what kind of a shortage it is. Um, there's no absolute guarantees that uh, their fragment will be um, three card rather than two card. Because uh, obviously they may be, they may have seven card diamonds, for example. Um, in which case they might have two singletons. Um, but at least they'll show where their main shortage is most of the time. Because most of the time there will be four six. Okay, moving on. So the two spade opener is slightly different, but it follows a very, a fairly similar regime. Um, but uh, and and the other thing, sorry, just to notice that with the two heart opener um, is that. At the th if if opener is showing a lower range hand over two hearts two spades, um, then the first two rebids are both showing singletons, and the the two higher rebids um, are showing voids. But if they are showing an upper range hand then the two lower uh, rebids are showing a club shortage and the two higher rebids are showing a spade shortage. So it's a slightly different scheme depending on, it's just because of how the suits fall, um, slightly different scheme depending on uh, whether they're lower or upper range. So over two spades. So this is slightly different. Um, in that three diamonds shows any lower range hand that doesn't have a void. And the three clubs and three heart bids both show voids. Three clubs showing a void heart and three hearts showing a void club. This is just so that we can fit all the responses in. So 
So that takes care of the lower range hands. And the upper range hands follow the same um, broad scheme that the uh, the two heart two spade sequences did for the upper range hands, in that both the first two responses, three spades and three no trumps, are showing a club shortage, and uh, the more expensive ones, four clubs and four diamonds, both show. Uh, heart shortages the void always being the more expensive response so as before with with two hearts two spades um, over those responses you can either just sign off at whatever level you want or beta in the singleton suit that opener is shown or the shortage the short suit that opener is shown is always available but you cannot use epsilons so after you you can use beta but after that you have to set the final contract so that that takes care of two spades two no trumps which is you know the first relay being the forcing inquiry. Uh, the next most expensive relay three clubs is Levin Sol, just like before. So again, if you want to play in three diamonds over two spades, you have to bid three clubs. That forces three diamonds, and now you can just pass. Um, similarly, if you want to play in three hearts, you have to go via three clubs Levin Sol. Um, three spades and four diamonds are invitational again just the same as over the two heart two no trump sequences um, and and those are wanting those are particularly concentrating on the quality of the trump suit um, rather than openers distribution So an immediate bid in diamonds, um, is gamma in diamonds. So again, that's one you might not expect, but the thing to remember is that uh, two spades, three spades, and two spades, four diamonds are fundamentally preemptive, just like over the two heart opening, where three hearts and four diamonds are fundamentally preemptive responses. So two no trumps over two spades, two no trumps the forcing inquiry, three clubs is love and soul, three diamonds and three hearts are asking, three hearts being eater in spades. And over any of the either of the asking bids, obviously we're now in an asking bid sequence, so relay beta applies and then you can use epsilons. Um, so if you really do have a slam invitational hand, you you pretty much need to go via gamma or eta because then you can use the epsilons um, if you're only interested in slam if opener is upper range then you're better off going via levensol and then inviting 
or via the forcing inquiry because then you'll get the information about opener's range whereas if you use gamma or eta then you won't so over intervention fast fast bids in one of um, or, or immediate simple bids uh, this is really assuming that the intervention is uh, a double because if they bid at the three level then we're pretty much back to competing so if Levensol is available over their intervention which over two spades is only if they double then we can have slow and fast bids um, and again over two hearts it's only really if they bid two spades or double that you're going to have Levensol available um, so if you can make a different a differentiation between slow and fast bids uh, then the fast bids are gamma or eta if it's in one of opening suits uh, if if two no trumps eleven sol isn't available then pretty much you just have to rely on natural methods i.e. you might qubit their suit if you want to set up a forcing sequence um, or just bid naturally let's have a look at a couple of example hands Oops, sorry. So here, two no trumps was the forcing inquiry. Um, three diamonds showed any lower range hand that didn't have a void. And South has decided to play there. Um, on a good day you might make uh, four spades but today wouldn't be such a good day because you're going to get forced in hearts almost immediately um, so it was not going to work out you might try for five diamonds if uh, Um, say north was showing upper range with a um, I don't know a heart void uh, you might try for five diamonds 
or even four spades for that matter but uh, five diamonds probably more robust but here we're happy just to pass in three diamonds because on a club lead you're going to lose three tricks any questions on this hand Sorry, I think actually that's probably the wrong, wrong way to go here. Nah, probably not, sorry, going daft. So here, um, West knows that East must have King Queen of Hearts, must have the Ace of Diamonds, and basically must have uh, either the King of Spades or the King of Diamonds. that nails down the diamonds um, East must have ace to six diamonds and has to have now um, the king of spades Any questions here? So, so here we just launched into an immediate beta. Um, West wasn't primarily concerned as to whether opener was minimum or maximum because they got such good controls and such a good heart fit that they can afford just to start asking. Um, so really beta and then epsilons after the eater. Any questions? Anybody got any comments or queries?
Okay, moving on. So you're all happy about reverse Roman. Um, they don't come up terribly often, those, if you're playing the complex. And indeed, you may prefer to use Lucas 2s, which I'm just going to skip through fairly quickly. Um, personally, I prefer to use the reverse Roman, but uh, it is a matter for yourselves. Um, because Roman, the three club opening, Roger, is is a is a Roman three clubs. In other words, it's six card clubs, the suit that you open, and four cards in an unspecified major. The reverse Roman is where you're opening your four card suit, but promising a six card suit in diamonds as well. If it was Ro a Roman bid it would you would be opening say three diamonds and promising a four card major a little bit like the uh, um, the three club opening in OCP I don't know if, if it's technically a correct way to call it uh, I think it was Jason who actually came up with the terminology but uh, it's always seemed a fairly sensible way to to call it for me given that the, the three clubs is clearly a Roman three clubs. Sanya, close your ears. Okay, so if you're going to play um, classic Mudeberg uh, is always major minor. In other words, um, uh, your, your, your minor is always a minor. <laughs> oh, don't quit. Don't quit quitting, I mean. Um, whereas Lucas 2s can potentially be both majors, but uh, Classic Mederberg can't. Um, yeah, that's if you're going to use Lucas twos, um, that's the, the the last part of that last sentence is the critical thing is uh, whether you're allowed to have four card spades if you open two hearts. Um, with with Lucas Twos and, and Mudeberg, uh, you always have a five card holding in the suit that you open, the suit that you bid first, and you're either four or five card um, in the other suit. So it's not like Tartan 2s where you're always guaranteed to be 5-5. Five, five. But the critical thing to decide with your partner is, is whether if you open two hearts, you're allowed to have four card spades or whether you have to wait until you've got five card spades and four card or five card hearts and open two spades. Or whether you're going to follow the classic Wiederberg opening where if you open two hearts, it's always hearts and a minor, and if you open two spades, it's always spades and a minor. So you will see from from, and I mean I don't I don't normally use Lucas twos, um, uh, so I wouldn't put myself up as an expert on it there are probably different ways to play 
the responses to it than, than what I'm going to suggest here. Um, you'll have to speak to the likes of Brian Meadows and uh, and others who, who champion Lucas II's over Reverse Roman. Um, but uh, the normal way I think that you would play Lucas II's is this. So a relay in the next suit is essentially a rescue because it's not forcing. Um, so two spades, three clubs, for example, a partner could pass clubs if their other suit was clubs. You're just essentially showing no support for uh, the suit that opens opened and just trying to find something better. So when I do play Lucas 2s, um, this is how I tend to play it, that uh, 2 no trumps is Levensol forcing 3 clubs, and now 3 diamonds is, is a portal into asking about uh, Opener's Major, and 3 hearts is a game try in openers major whatever it was whether it was two hearts or two spades so it's, it's perhaps false to call two no trumps levin soul except in that it forces three clubs it's it's a means of getting into either an asking sequence or an invitational sequence in uh, in openers major so it's more in the way of a forcing relay So any any direct suit raises of openers major are 100% preemptive. Um, So, for example, if it goes two hearts, three diamonds, or two spades, three diamonds, this is at least a six-card suit, and it's fundamentally weak. In other words, it's a rescue. Not interested to find out where Opener's second suit is. Um, similarly, two spades, three hearts. It doesn't mean to say that if if that kind of a bid happens to hit opener's second suit that opener can't preempt but at least it's in the knowledge that uh, responder has a fundamentally weak hand and no fit for the first suit So as I said before, I, I'm not an expert on Lucas II's or Miederberg. Um There are loads of response schemes available, some of which probably fit better with OCP than others, and some of which you can probably adapt um, to incorporate asking bids and so on. Um, like I said, if you want some advice on, on how to play it, you're better off speaking to somebody like Brian Meadows. 
um, who always plays Lucas twos uh, by preference. Um, and he's probably better suited. Indeed, if you look on the forum, I think you will find uh, under the complex system you, you or alternative treatments, uh, you will find some threads on Lucas twos and uh, his preferred methods of, of continuations. Anybody got any questions or comments? I've got a couple of example hands that might show it. Uh, just bear with me a second. So the fact that South bid two spades here um, doesn't change. Um, what two no trumps is. So two no trumps is still eleven sol, and three diamonds is still going to be gamma in hearts. Given the two spade bid, if West just had a hand where they wanted to compete in diamonds uh, the fact is they would have a fundamentally weak hand and you would probably just pass over two spades Now, you may ask, what is the point in relay beta here? And indeed, really, there isn't. Because West knows that East has the ace, king of hearts. And in practice, if they've got five to nine, they can't have another control. They certainly can't have the king of diamonds. Otherwise, they'd be too strong. Um, so, I mean, actually, I, I wouldn't bid. I have to say, I wouldn't bid. Uh, four clubs here um, because there's no point um, East has shown three controls in hearts and they can't really have anything else so we might as well start trying to find out where um, opener has sorry responder has their other suits and indeed really with a 15 count uh, opposite 5 to 9 it's quite probable that you wouldn't even look past 
four hearts here. Um, simply on the basis that wherever East has a shortage, they're going to have a doubleton um, at least in one of the black suits if they've got diamonds or somewhere other than you, you're going to have at least two losers so you wouldn't go looking for, for slam here um, opposite a five to nine hand indeed there's a good case over two spades for West just bidding four hearts immediately over two spades because they're not going to they're going to want to play in game um, but they're not going to go looking for slam here. Um, East has got as good a hand as they can possibly have. And you still can't make more than four hearts. You might make five. But that's all. Any questions? Okay. Oh, sorry. No, this is if you're Octay, this is if you're playing Lucas twos, not the reverse Roman two hearts. So sorry. Uh if you're gonna play reverse Roman, um then you wouldn't be opening this East Hand you would pass it and and hope to come in with a you know a michael's cubid or an unusual no trump or something a michael's um so so the reverse roman is 11 to 15 with a four card major and six card diamonds specifically but if you're going to play lucas twos then it's a five to nine opening with a five card suit. Yes, it is. I mean, this particular one could be Lucas II's or Muderberg. Um But you, just hang on, so I'll type this. I'm not sure if Okta is listening to this. All right, guys. Good night.